In this video I'll be showing you how to build Poseidon's Wrath on the Black Ops 3 Custom Zombies map Leviathan Remastered. In order to do this you'll need to find three parts scattered all over the map. They're in the following locations. The first part can be spawned in one of three places. Starting off by Stamina Up's Machine. If you just come back here towards this metal gated fence you can find the part in this metal gated fence just there. Moving on from the fence if we come up to the top here and come through this door over here to the left and then straight away as soon as you go through that door you will see by this little table here is your next part. Finally moving on from the table that we were just at, if you come through this doorway here and turn straight to your right you'll find the final part just there on top of this little generator thing. The next part can be found in the cafeteria. To get to the cafeteria if you come from the spawn room and look at where Quick Revive is and come to the left through this doorway here and if you just head all the way through this tunnel like so up until the very end here up by this green door and then head through this room here where the gun is on the wall and then in this room here and you can find the part either here on this stool like so from the stool over by the jug machine you can find it here on the table next to this pizza box and finally from there if you come around the back here you can find it just here on this little box. For the final part, come into this room where you see this guy in a tank. And the part can be located in the following areas. Coming from the wall bar on the wall there, if you just come over here, it can be on this box right there. Coming from that wall by, come into this room here, and then run all the way over to this room over here where it's got the number four on the wall. And then you come straight in front of you, you will find it on this weird little object here. And then coming from that, if you come all the way through to the room where it's got number three written on the wall, if you come through here, you will find the part just on this trolley. Now that we have all the parts, there are two buildable location areas where you can build the Poseidon's Wrath stuff. I will show you where both of those buildable tables are now. So the first buildable table can be located just from coming from the biodome itself while you're in front of the temple like this. If you just come outside here and walk up this ramp into this building here, you will locate the first buildable table just there. And then the final buildable table coming from spawn, again looking at quick revive, coming to the left hand room here, turn left straight away and you'll find the final buildable table just here. Hold your interactive button in order to build the staff on the table like so. Then use your interactive button in order to pick up the staff from the table. This is now a special weapon that you can use whenever you like. So simply pull it out like so. And this is a very powerful weapon as you can see it does quite a lot of damage and can be very useful. It's also good for melee as well. Now Bear in mind that this is on a timer when using it, however if you run out of it at any point from using it too much, do not be concerned because all you have to do is simply go and get enough zombie kills in order to charge it back up again. The meter will be down in the bottom right hand corner of your HUD and as you charge it up the little blue bar will start filling up all the way around and eventually once it's ready it will be a green bar around that icon. Anyway that's all there is to the Poseidon's Wrath guide. I hope you guys found it useful and enjoy using this pretty damn awesome weapon. See you in the next guide guys. Submarine is make our way outside here into the ocean bit and straight across over to here and then make our way through this door here down this corridor and then once you get all the way down the end of the corridor like so in this room here you will find the power switch just to the right here. Simply use your interactive button of FX or square to turn on the power. And that's all there is.